Hello everyone. I have not posted a video on the main channel for a while. Um, for those of you who didn't know, uh, one of my best friends, Scott, uh, unexpectedly passed away. Uh, you might recognize him from the Adam and Pals videos. Uh, he was obviously a huge part of the channel and, you know, we did gaming streams every week. And so there's a lot of changes. There's a lot of uh, things that I've had to figure out and reflect on and deal with. So, you know, the past month I haven't released any content on the main channel because I've needed that time to grieve and reflect and figure out exactly what I'm doing. We did a memorial stream on the gaming channel where we talked about everything that we knew about what happened. Um, so if you're looking for information about it then just click on that but i figured i needed to make some sort of video on this channel um because there's a lot of changes coming and these changes are ones that would have need to have been made at some point anyway first i should mention that there's a good chunk of videos that uh i recorded with scott uh adam and pal's videos there's like six or seven of those uh that are being edited right now i've i've gotten my editors to uh, focus on those for the time being and one of them is pretty much done and should be published in the next like day or two um, but I, I want those to be the priority right now uh, for things that they can work on so I just I didn't want anybody to be confused about that um, there's yeah there's gonna be there's gonna be a good chunk of Adam and Pal's videos with him still in them that I'm publishing uh, to the channel and they should be all released within the next like few months, I think, um, depending on if they cut into TIFF or not, because you know I'll, I'll want the editors to be working on the TIFF content in September. I'm still planning on going to that festival. Um, I missed Fantasia this year just because I was too busy with uh, dealing with all of this and everything going on. Um, I might miss VIF. I don't know. It depends on whether or not I can do that virtually or maybe get some screeners from the festival because uh, I'm I'm not going to be in Vancouver during that time because during that time I'm going to be packing up and moving my stuff uh, from Atlanta. Um, anybody who's followed my other channels where I talk a bit more about my personal life uh, would know that I was dating someone in Atlanta. Uh, we recently made it official that we're separating. Well, we're separated now. Um, and there's no real reason to mention that in this video other than to make sure people know that I'm going to be busy moving. Moving sucks. I didn't want to be moving again. Um, and it's very time consuming and expensive. So be prepared for that. It's not toxic. There's no hate. Neither of us are abandoning each other. It's amicable, and it's something that we both kind of already knew for a while, but just made it official recently. Um, because I, I I've been in a mindset over the past month that you know I I need to address everything in my life that is not working, and set myself up so that I'm not just continuing the same patterns in ways that, that are unsustainable. Um, and one of those patterns is the uh, workflow and the, I, I guess, my pattern of behavior when it came to uh, releasing content, especially on this channel, um, but throughout all the different channels even. Um, you know, it's no surprise to anybody on this channel that over the past however many years, I've been really struggling to find the time to get back to what makes this channel work in the first place. And those those are my passion projects, right? So like the longer form YMS content, um, the top 10 of the year lists, obviously Synecdoche um, series, those things have all kind of taken the side burner for a good amount of time um, because I've been stuck in this cycle of needing to publish frequent content uh, to 
A, pay my editors, B, pay my bills. You know, the fact that, you know, I was trying to essentially live in two places at once to try and make this relationship work. Um, and I don't have any regrets about it. And I'm glad I tried. And it was what I needed at, at that point in my life, for sure. Um, but all these different factors really compounded and added to me needing uh, to be posting like four videos a month on on this channel um and you know even with editors there's you know watching the movies there's the recording process there's the research process uh there's me making changes to the videos or reviewing over the videos sending back notes for changes and you know it, it all takes a, a good amount of time and so i'm trying to I, I've I've already made changes throughout uh, my channels, uh, starting with the podcast and the gaming channel. I've already made changes um, to make it so that I'm not spending as much time on things that the editors should be uh, doing on their end, and they they have been. It's not saying that they haven't been, but I I just have this kind of I don't know like neurotic like perfectionist mentality sometimes um when at this point the people that i've been working with um i'm i'm getting to the point where i'm able to trust them enough that i don't have to you know review and micromanage and and check over like every single little thing because if i if i do that then it, it just it takes so much time and then I don't have time to work on these larger projects that, you know, my channel wouldn't be successful without the classic YMS videos and without the, you know, top 10 lists and Synecdoche and all of these things that uh, people are subscribed for in the first place. And, you know, a lot of people really love the Admin Palace content, so it's, it sucks that you know, if I were to be making all of these changes before Scott died, like part of my plan would have been, you know, like even like a focus on that type of content while I'm working on other things on the side, because those don't require as much input from me. And, you know, the series isn't done in terms of, you know, I'm still planning on recording more at some point with Gael, with Shay and maybe someone else. Um, they're not going to be the same. Obviously, there's no replacing Scott. That that's not a thing that that is possible. Um, but you know, at some point, we will be recording more of those. For now, we're going to release the ones we have. And also, I should probably mention on the gaming channel, which is something that um, previously. Um, you know, I had a bunch of different editors working on and I would go over and micromanage everything that they sent me, you know, go through the whole thing, make changes, send notes for changes, come back, you know, send me other clips. I would replace certain parts of the clips and do so much on my end. And I realized that that was taking up so much time. Um, and so now on the gaming channel, there's only one editor working on it and they're working on it, um, producing weekly content. And I trust them enough that, you know, the quality of the videos is still retained without me needing to micromanage obsessively. It's, it's just one of those like character traits where I've just kind of had to learn to, to not <laughs> do that. Um, and it, it, you know, it, these things are never easy or quick. They're when you're changing things that are pretty consistent and core to your character. Um, trying to work on those things is, it's always going to be a work in progress. Um, the gaming channel edited videos. Uh, I would imagine there's like literally years, years worth of unedited content with Scott in it. Um, 
you know, we went through all three Mass Effect games. We went through the four Silent Hill games. Like, there's so much that hasn't been edited that uh, he was in. And, you know, as of right now, even though I'm still doing my uh, Sunday game streams, because that's a part of my time off, um, we haven't exactly figured out how to uh, make the new content work <laughs> in a way that, um, edited videos make sense anyway, so we're kind of stuck editing the content that he was a part of regardless. Um, and so even though he's not here anymore, and it sucks, and it's a very obviously difficult thing to come to terms with and deal with, um, I still want that content to exist, whether it's Adam and Pals or the gaming content, I still want that to exist in a way that, you know, it kind of memorializes him and it can kind of be published in a way where, you know, even though, depending, every person might need a different amount of time to like actually process and, and grieve and deal with this. Um, so I understand if, you know, releasing this content, you know, if you don't want to click on it right away and you want to wait until you could, you feel like you could watch it and be less sad about it, that's fine. Um, but it's stuff that, that I feel like we should publish and get out. The way that I was producing content uh, when I was able to get these larger passion projects out and still <laughs> have frequent content on the main channel and do these like quickie style reviews and all of that at once um, has become a lot more difficult, especially, I mean, this anybody who's watching this channel should know that I have tendonitis. Um, and so if I, like, like I literally just can't crunch in the same way that I used to be able to, um, because then the symptoms flare back up and then I, it's like literally just an injury from working too much. And so part of dealing with that is, uh, you know, like physical therapy and I have a personal trainer and I'm trying to be healthy. I'm trying to manage my diet better, uh, which involves like, you know, not just ordering food, um, but actually making proper meals that takes time, you know, the, the training sessions, they, they take time. And so when I, especially when I first started out on this channel, I didn't have a social life. Like I didn't really drink. I just, I just focused on work and only work. And that contributed to me eventually getting to the point where I, you know, now have work related injuries where I, I didn't see that there could be a wall that I could hit, but I have been forced to come to terms with the fact that there is a wall and that I've hit it. Um, and I have to, you know, I'm in my 30s now. Like, I, I have to start caring about my health. I have to make time to be active. Um, but I think that with all of these changes that I'm making, I think that I can still do passion projects and f have a bit more of a focus on uh, topics and, and videos and movies where I'm actually passionate about them and I'm not just watching the new dumb fucking Marvel nonsense because I know that people will click on it. That being said, Madam Web w was a passion project and also The Flash. Like those, those were both things that I was like so morbidly curious about. Um, and that's why those videos are good. Like that, those videos and Little Mermaid and, um, so there, there will still be those things. And I don't think quickies are like over, like reviewing things that are still in theaters. Um, I just need to figure out a better way to do them, whether that might involve just doing like a monthly like stream where I talked about, talk about like everything that I saw in a month. Cause, um, especially since I haven't posted content in over a month. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I've watched that's kind of piled up and there's things that I want to say about them, but like 
I just need to do these things in a way where it's not taking away from being able to have the time to work on passion projects and also have the time to like actually think and reflect because the only reason I'm able to make these changes right now is because despite me knowing that that I've needed to make draft, drastic lifestyle changes for a long time, and I've known that for a long time, I wasn't able to do anything about it because I, I, in order to make those changes, I would need to actually have the time to like properly address and figure out a solution. And I just didn't give myself that time because I every single month I was just trying to to make enough money to be able to sustain living and paying my editors um and and so i've i've now updated the tiers on my patreon for the first time since i started my patreon which was in 2013 um so hopefully hopefully i get some new people on my patreon because i am wanting to I'm wanting to turn this channel into something that's a bit more true to its origins and do things in a way where I can spend some good months, good chunks of time on larger projects and not be worried about this constant monthly cycle where I feel like I have to publish four videos in a month, uh, every month in order to, to just make enough money. Um, and there's a lot of great channels that uh, do post infrequent content. And something that all of those channels have in common, or the vast majority of them, is that they have very successful Patreons. Uh, right now, my Patreon is not, not at the level that it would need to be uh, for me to feel confident or comfortable about making this change. But I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to try and we'll see how it goes and maybe just like burn through my savings in the process. And maybe I'll have to like go back to doing things the way that I've been doing for the past couple of years. Maybe, I don't know. Um, one of the changes that I've made on my Patreon, um, there's now voting power for a poll for a movie for me to watch each month. And I live stream the watching it's on the Watch Alongs channel, YMS Watch Alongs. Um, there's a good chunk of movies that I've already watched on that channel. Um, right now, there's a poll. I guess if I post this today, the poll should still be active for, a, I don't know, like another half day or something. But right now, there's a poll on the Patreon right now for the movie for me to watch for, I guess, August. Um and so that's one of the perks. Um, there's going to be exclusive content on the Patreon. And for a while, there there has been in the sense that um, there's a lot of videos that I literally just can't post uncensored on YouTube um, because they just get demonetized. Uh, you know, things that have gore or nudity or, you know, certain swear words. Uh so the uncensored versions of those have been on Patreon, things that I've posted for the past couple of years already. Um, there's there's a video that, like, how do I even describe it without getting demonetized? We've even tried to censor that video, and it just keeps getting digged in the system, dinged. So that one, at the very least, I think is going to have to be a Patreon slash members exclusive um, there's way more perks on the Patreon, by the way. The voting power is not... You're not able to do that on uh, the YouTube members thing, but you're, you're still able to see the mostly uncensored videos. So for things with actual nudity, I can't post those on YouTube, but I can still do gore and stuff and just have those demonetized as members' videos. Um, so the Patreon exists. You can click on it uh, if you want to support and help out and help make this change possible, especially... Uh, where I can not have to have this mindset slash mentality um, of feeling like I just am constantly trying to catch up on hitting a certain number every single month just through ad revenue. 
and remember I have like a bunch of different editors that I I need to um you know they're counting on me for their income and I'm not a monster and even if you know even though my mentality is that of scaling back in a way um I'm making sure that each of them have things that they can work on um and so depending on the type of content that they're producing some of them are working on like making edited versions of these uh like what these watch alongs uh some of these have already been been posted on the channel they're the yms watches series uh there's one for boss baby that's pretty funny um there's there's like four or five of them already published but depending on like the frequency of those or um you know how many of those get edited i don't really want to flood the main channel with that so i might you know those are something that i could see making like patreon exclusive um slash members exclusive obviously i would still any any video that you could access on patreon you should be able to access on members unless it contains like actual nudity or like things that would get me like actually uh community guidelines striked on youtube which i don't want obviously um and then yeah i, I mean for you know as, as i'm trying to figure this out and if anybody has any like actual suggestions let me know because i'm still i f still feel like i'm figuring this out but this is just the best that i have come up with so far um you know i was at one point i was thinking of making like some quickie stuff patreon exclusive but i don't know if that makes sense because part of the quickies part of the the point of reviewing things that are new in theaters is is to especially help promote like smaller artists and if i'm putting that behind a paywall then that doesn't get word out as well so i still want to make sure that i have a proper avenue to do that on the main channel um but I just I just don't know. I'm figuring things out. I'm figuring things out, and it might just be, they might be in chunks or something. I might I I might do that, like everything I've seen in a month style video. I don't know. We're figuring it out right now. Um, but this is the best that I've got so far. I've been dabbling in doing some sponsored ads uh, to try and help with this. The sponsored ads do not show up on Patreon. They do not show up on the members' videos. Those are ad-free, except, uh, you know, like, I, I do want to plug my t uh, T-shirts or, like, things that are, like, actually an ad of something that is from me. Uh, those still exist uh, because I, th I think, you know, people on my Patreon and members are probably the most likely people to want something like a t-shirt i'm not going to be doing any of those types of ads on the remaining uh adam plays video or sorry adam and pals videos with scott um not because i think he would care if anybody knew him he was a real kind of like get that money kind of cat um but just because i think it would feel weird you know, having like that type of ad in it, you know, it'll st they'll still be monetized videos, but just there's something, maybe I'll change my mind, but like, I, I don't know if I'm going to do that for those videos. And those are the videos that are being focused on right now. So I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but um, we just started doing the t-shirt stuff like a couple months ago. And I kind of feel bad for the person that set that up because I haven't been posting content recently and the content that I'll be posting soon won't even have those like t-shirt ads like in the video. Um, and, you know, they're making a percentage of those sales. So I guess I'll just say it in this video. Uh, if you want to help out, that's the way you can do it. Uh, YMSmerch.com. And again... Again, if you think that that is inappropriate in the same video that I'm talking about, you know, one of my best friends not being here anymore, uh, then you probably didn't know him because he <laughs> he was literally all about that. So, um, 
yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to navigate this in a way where people understand what these changes are and why they need to be made. And a lot of, you know, it is very financially related. Um, so if you're looking to help out and help me make these changes, then that's a way that you can help. So yeah, to summarize, um, we're not doing four videos a month on this channel anymore. And I'm, I need that time to be able to focus on genuine passion projects. I'm not going to be focusing on just the grind of that anymore. And honestly, the passion projects are the ones that do the, the best anyway. Um, it's just, I, I've been I've been stuck in this cycle of needing to get a certain amount of content out per month. Uh so I'm I'm trying my best to move away from that. And this is a change that needed to be made for a long time, but now's the time to do it. And I'm still doing film festival videos, I'm still doing Oscars videos. Those are passion projects, but I, I need to be able to get back into doing these other things that have been on the side burner for so long. And I don't have a date for those. Remember that I am now going to be moving again. So please be patient. Um, but I'm going to try my best. I am trying my best. And... If, if let's say you're subscribed to this channel and, you know, you, you want to see more frequent content that I'm doing, there are other channels that I post frequent content on that don't really take up any of my actual working time. Um, you know, I've got Sardonicast, the podcast that I do with Alex from I Hate Everything. We post episodes of that every two weeks. Um, my gaming channel, again, is being posted weekly, and another editor is just running that whole thing. The, the content that I record for my gaming channel is all recorded in my free time. I do live streams every so often, uh, twitch.tv slash ymsplays. Uh, I also live stream to the gaming channel, ymsplays. Um, there are full VODs of those streams uh, for gaming content that get released on the YMS Streams channel. There's the YMS Highlights channel where there are highlights from streams where I either, you know, react to trailers or, you know, whatever nonsense internet thing happens to be something that I would be interested in at the time. Um, and then obviously the watch alongs channel. So you can watch movies with me. Uh, depending on the type of movie, I'll have more things to say about it. But, you know, obviously a really well made art house film, I'm not going to be like riffing on as I'm watching it. Um, I might occasionally make a comment about something that I love about the filmmaking, but um, that channel exists. I live stream to that channel. And once again, we now have a poll on the uh, Patreon for the watch-alongs where there is a monthly film selected by uh, the patrons. So if you want to get in on that, do that now because the poll that we're doing for August is ending soon. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess... I guess that's it. I guess that's everything I needed to say. And I guess you're all updated now. And I know it's fucking weird. Um, because even though I've already talked about uh, what happened to Scott in community posts and on Twitter and, you know, that big live stream on the gaming channel, I've already done that. I know the word hasn't gotten out to everybody yet. Um and it sucks, and it's weird doing that while also, you know, making this video where 
I need to talk about these changes that are being made. And in order to talk about these changes that are being made, I also need to promote the things that I'm doing. So that feels weird, but hopefully people understand. And uh, I guess we'll see how things go over the next however many months. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of stuff on my plate, but I'm trying my best. And uh, I appreciate all your support. Thank you so much.